Hey, long time no see. It's uh, it's been a while, but I'm glad you're back, and I'm I'm glad you're still hanging in there. Trust me, things things are gonna get a lot more fun once we actually start building applications. But we do have to go through the basics, so hang in there. Now, you may have heard me mention methods and functions before, and I briefly touched on the subject. Right? We have functions like list, print. We have things like max min what else do we have we have input these are all built-in functions in python python just comes with this and we're able to use them and we also learned about functions that we can create ourselves custom functions like well some random stuff and i just created a function that does absolutely nothing i can just pass through and these are all functions because the way we call them is well we say some random stuff and then we call it with the brackets and give it some sort of data or leave it empty but we also learned about methods and methods were different because the way we used them was using the dot notation we said dot something for example if we had a string hello and i do dot i get a list of all these methods that the string data type can use. These aren't things that we can use like this, because if I do capitalize like this, well, it's going to give me an error. It's going to say, well, I'm going to get an error with max because it's expecting an argument here. But let's comment this out and click run again. I get name capitalize is not defined because it's not a function. It's a method. And a method has to be owned by something. And who owns a method? Well, whatever is to the left of the dot. In our case, the string owns the method capitalize. And that's what methods are. They're built-in objects that have methods such as strings, dictionaries, sets, tuples, all the things we've talked about where as soon as we do dot, we have access to all these methods. They're owned by an object or a data type. And the fun thing is that there's ways to build your own methods. And I'll show you how to do that later on when we start talking about classes. But you can see here that our editors help us determine what type of methods that we can use. And again, these are built into Python. And you can also learn about these methods that we can use by going to the Python documentation, right? Python 3 documentation is going to have a ton of things for us. If we go to library reference, for example, we can see here that we can learn about built in types. So let's go to Let's go to the set types. And here you can see that we have set type and it shows us how we can use it. Now, Python doesn't have the easiest documentation to read for beginners, unfortunately. So sometimes it's better to actually just Google instead of going through the actual documentation. But you see here that the set type has clear, has pop, has remove. If we want to use it, we have update. And these are the methods that we can use. But at the end of the day, both methods and functions allow us to take actions, right? To take actions on our data types, to have our programs do something. And although they have these different names and one has a dot in front of it and another one, well, we can just call it like this, the difference is very minimal. But keep that in mind. When you hear people talking about methods and functions, there is that difference. And like I said before, we will get to methods when we talk about classes to show you how we can create our own. I'll see you in the next one.